Welcome back YouTube. I've had some requests regarding my pipe tobacco collection, so I thought I'd just do, um, well, I don't think this will be short, but a, uh, as quick as I can, a video regarding my tinned pipe uh, tobacco collection. Keep in mind that this is about mm, maybe 40% of my collection. The other 60% is in uh, glass jars like this that's opened. Um, so let's begin here. This is Capstan Flake here. Uh, this was sent to me by my good friend uh, Aaron from the Smoking Jacket blog, uh, of which you'll find the link in the description below. This he sent to me uh, because it was one of Tolkien's uh, favorite uh, tobaccos. And uh, me being a fan of Tolkien and him himself as well, he thought it would uh, be a nice gesture, and it was. So I thank him for that, for sending me this uh, this amazing gift. Uh, it's a navy cut tobacco. Here, I have two copies of the tobacco called Day's End. It's by Mr. Bees. Uh, this is a copy of a similar blend, and you can tell by the packaging itself, as the famous Dunhill nightcap. So, I have, you'll notice that on all my tins I put uh, a label of the date that I bought it, so I could keep track of how long it's been aged and stored in the tins. So this is Mr. B's Day's End, like uh, Dunhill Nightcap. This is another of Mr. B's. Um, this is called Rise and Shine. And this is supposed to be a copy of uh, Dunhill's Early Morning Pipe. So a similar blend and similar packaging, of course. I have November 2012 on these ones here. Keep in mind that these are 50 gram tins that you're looking at right now. I'll let you know uh, the different tin sizes as we go through. This is another of Mr. B's that's a copy of uh, the Dunhill brand. Can't remember exactly what the Dunhill uh, name for this particular uh, tobacco was, but this is called Tudor Mixture here, as you can see here. And November 2012 on both of those as well. Next, we got uh, some 50 gram tins um, of flake tobacco called Aaron Moore Flake. Most of you probably have heard of this particular tobacco before. And uh, November 2012 on both of those. You notice there's still the price on here. I didn't, most of these tobaccos I got as uh, gifts, which is uh, really nice of people. But for this 50 gram tin of flake, it says, so let's see if we can focus in here. And I don't know why we can't. But fine, it says twenty five ninety nine. That's Canadian tax. Um, I know you could buy them online from the United States for much, much, much cheaper. Probably less than half of that price. But um, that's Air Morph Lake. Now we got some Samuel Gallets here. We got um, Sam's Flake. I'm sure most of you have heard that. This is from November twenty twelve. We have. Uh, best brown flake here from November 2012 as well and bracken flake rich and dark November 2012 as well so those are my Sam Gowitz here let's see what we have here I have two tins of Savinelli's uh, black Cavendish tobacco I haven't tried it yet but what I've heard is some pretty good things um, with regards to its moisture, I've read that it is quite moist, so you have to let it uh, sit out a little bit or else it'll gurgle at the bottom of your pipe and leave a lot of dotto. These are both from January of 2012. Now a personal favorite of mine. I have three tins of McBaron's Dark Twist, uh, of which you'll see right here, and I'll show you what it looks like. So these are 100 gram tins, and as you can see here, $49.99 Canadian uh, for a 100 gram tin of this, but uh, you can get it much cheaper, like I said, online. This is from July 2010, so this is a decently old uh, tin. Another same tin from July 2010, and another tin from March 2011. So these are all, like I said, 100 gram tins of roll cake tobacco, 
and this is Dark Twist right here. And they're medallion cut tobacco, uh, so that means like they're in circles. As you can see, let's see if we get the light in here. It's hard to focus. So it's these round little cakes and you just break them up together and then you can pack them in your pipe. You'll notice there's a darker center, which is uh, the Black Cavendish. So that's McBaron's Dark Twist. Now over here we have a tin of Solani's uh, Sweet Mystery, right? I have a few tins of this open, I really like it. However, it is kind of moist so you have to let it, um, like most aromatics, let it uh, dry out a little bit before you pack it and smoke it. This is from November 2012. Here we have two tins from CAO. Uh, for those of you who smoke uh, cigars, you'll have heard of the company, of course, CAO. And uh, I got these particular tins, as a few more you'll see soon, from uh, the Davidoff store in Las Vegas in the Venetian Hotel when I was staying at the hotel. And they had some pretty good prices relative to the Canadian prices, even though uh, the markup is quite high for uh, American tobacco prices. Here you'll see Cherry Bomb. Uh, it says Vanilla, Cherry, and Black Cavendish here. So it's an aromatic, uh, December 2012. Uh, and this is Eileen's Dream. It says Irish cream with chocolate truffle. And from December 2012 as well. Moving on, we got, let's take a look at these first. These are two tins of Ashton. Uh, they make some great cigars, especially the Virgin Sun Grown cigars. So if you haven't tried those, I'd uh, recommend it if you smoke cigars. Let's take a look at Gold Rush, this first one here. The description says a pure Virginia blend. Uh, maybe you can read it there. There's the description there, and it's probably not going to focus, of course. A uh, pure Virginia blend made of only the most outstanding Virginia tobaccos, medium bodied and smooth. Uh, this mixture burns beautifully and renders a natural aroma accented by traces of lemon and honey. Sounds really good. I, this is These two are the only tins I have of this, so I haven't tried them yet. Guilty Pleasure, as you can see there. I'll read the description. This glorious mixture of Cavendish, Virginia, and Carolina Burley carries an irresistible aroma of vanilla, mango, and exotic citrus. Both sound delicious, and I look forward in the future to... Trying them, they're both from January of uh, 2012. The next are a couple Petersons, Sherlock Holmes and Sunset, uh, Sunset Breeze. I have a few tins of this open. To be totally honest, I'm not a big fan of this particular bin. I don't know, it's just the aromatic taste is not my, uh, not my cup of tea. So it says uh, a Virginia and Burley leaf blend of great character with a sweet taste and uh, aromatic aroma. This is from November 2012. Um, this is a ribbon cut tobacco. And this is Sunset Breeze. Uh, the description says, Promising a unique smoking experience, this blend a first choice Virginia Burley and Black Cavendish is crowned by a wonderful Amaretto aroma. So that's Sunset Breeze. I haven't tried this one yet. Like I said, I have of that one there. Now coming to one of my favorite tobaccos, my absolute favorites, this is Peterson's University Flake. Uh, 50 gram tins, uh, this is from November 2012, November 2012, and November 2012 again. So they're all from the same year and month. This is a flake tobacco, a uh, long cut flake. Uh, it says an easy smoking blend of fine Virginia and burly tobaccos made the traditional way. It's extremely lightly cased, so it's not heavy in any type of aroma. Um, it doesn't gurgle at the bottom of the pipe. Uh, usually when I, um, I'll usually let it sit for about 10 minutes before I pack it. And um, I don't open the, um, the flake out much. I, I don't rub it out. I like uh, to just open a little bit let it sit and then fold them and then pack the pipe with this particular. I have done it the other way quite a few times, but I prefer uh, just packing it as the, as the full flake. Now let's move on to some more special uh, tobaccos here. These are some seasonal uh, blends. 
from Peterson. This is Peterson's 2012 Special Reserve. They usually come up with these type of uh, Peterson's tobaccos in their season, like they'll have the Christmas season. See, this is 2012, so it's after 2012, then they stop making it. I bought two tins of this. I have one tin open. I really like it. Lightly cased, but you can still get the full flavor from it. And it comes in these large uh, tins. I believe it's uh, 100 grams. Yeah, they're 100 gram, 100 gram tins. And I think this one's open. Yep, but there's it's sealed in here. You can smell it. it smells. You can smell the lightly case, but it smells like um, a cordial uh, alcohol. I can't tell you exactly which one, but that's just what it reminds me of. Keep that nice and sealed from January 2012. So I bought it right at the beginning of the year that it came out. Next we have. Peterson's a what is this here holiday 2011 this particular tobacco here and I uh, got it from November 2011 let's see what it says on the back here actually oh I was gonna read you back here but uh, full of stickers of course back here we um, we can read it clearly so it says golden and orange Virginias burly and black Cavendish make up this captivating blend that is both elegant and full of finesse sure to please the connoisseur's palate a sensual deep and simply wonderful scent of cinnamon and candified fruit evokes memories of the holiday season relaxing by the fireside on a cold winter's day let me see oh no this is still sealed with the, the duty label so I don't want to open it up but I can't smell through the tin so um, maybe one day I'll decide to open that up, but it's been a few years now that it's aging, so why not? Now over here we have Summertime 2012 by Peterson's, another one of their seasonal tins. Um, it has the raising of the letters here and the coconuts and the cocktail here. And of course the text is blocked. Uh, but let's see if I can figure out what it's made of in here. It says Burley Tobacco and uh, Black Cavendish. Um, doesn't say exactly what kind of flavors it's um, it's uh, cased with. No, it's too much is covering up. But that's Summertime 2012. And my last of the Petersons um, is Summertime 2011 and uh, once again it's raised in the metal here because this is a metal tin like the other ones it says summertime 2011 and okay so this one's not cut off too much it says a wonderful bright pipe tobacco blended with brown Cavendish double fermented black Cavendish and a high proportion of golden Virginia is then rounded off with cube cuts a combination uh, sorry all combined the result is a highly aromatic and sweet taste with a fantastic fruity aroma. And I got that June 2011. So a few more tobaccos left. Let's take a look here. I got these also from the Davidoff store in Las Vegas. These are some larger tins. They're, they're 50 grams, but they're different shaped, right? They come with these rubber lids and then they're sealed underneath so you can uh, reseal these containers nicely. So this is made by the Sutliff company. It says uh, Sutliff, uh, Sutliff private stock on here embossed and this is country. Let's see if we can focus that. Country estate. Uh, it says a smooth and sweet mixture of black Cavendish and rich Virginia. Uh, December 2012. I believe these are all December 2012, but we'll check anyway. Uh, this is, let's see if we can focus there, Birkenshire. It says, a rich, um, sorry, I can't read that upside down, a rich English mixture of Latakia, Orientals, Virginia, and Preak. So that'll be a nice spicy blend there. Another thing of Birkenshire here, so I have two of these tints. And this is Academy. So... Uh, mild and pleasing aromatic with spicy Latakia added for taste. So those are my Sutliff. I had a few more tins that I've opened up and I tried. They were pretty good.
Um, that's pretty much it uh, regarding my tobacco. I, like I said, most of my tobacco, 60% of it is in um, in tins. Uh, sorry, uh, in jars like this. Uh, not all of them are exactly in these jars. Uh, most of them are in the bale jars with the metal hinges with the rubber seal on them. But uh, that's all for my pipe tobacco collection. I do have a small barrel, a wooden barrel that was uh, used to hold uh, cigars in that I um, that I prepared and I uh, blended my own tobacco. I think it's been in there for maybe two years now and um, I sealed it off with wax so that uh, there's a perfect seal. So it's been aging in there for quite a bit now. I mix quite a few different tobaccos and uh, maybe one day I'll um, I'll do a video of me opening it up for the first time after years and see how it smells but um, it's my first attempt at blending tobacco so I'm not having any high hopes and uh, the blend that I did perhaps wasn't the most smartest combination. But that's uh, that's all for my uh, tobacco, uh, pipe tobacco. I think I'm going to do a video maybe soon regarding uh, another update on my humidor. I've noticed that on my, uh, on my channel my Verona cabinet humidor tours are one of my most popular videos and I think it's a, a good time to do an update on that because I got quite quite a few more different uh, cigars in there. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, also I have in here just so you show maybe you haven't seen I got uh, this beautiful pipe pouch from um, Soaring Owl and Sons on Etsy. Uh, I did a video regarding uh, my pouch. It's really worked in now so it's like super super soft um, and I worked it in with some leather conditioners and you know twisting it and stuff like that. You see the Italian flannel there and the, uh, the tobacco area there. I have my uh, Calibri pipe lighter and some pipe cleaners and a, a nail pipe tool because it's nice and thin. That's just uh, Frank from Soaring Owl and Sons made this uh, for me along with some other little accessories, a key fob pipe stand as uh, well as what he calls a dapper pipe tobacco uh, mat so you can uh, cleanly pack your pipe without making a mess. But uh, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. Uh, keep an eye out for future videos regarding the subject matter and um, of course I don't condone smoking but if, uh, if you do I hope you enjoyed my videos. Um, unlike my other videos that are about books I nonetheless bid you farewell and to keep on reading.